Welcome to Washita Mountain Living. My name is Mike. We're changing it up this morning. We're out on the upper deck. Uh, it's supposed to be only 42 degrees today, but boy, right here in the sun, it's cozy. Cheers. Oh, it's a little hotter than I was expecting. Anyway, don't know what I'm going to do today. Maybe one of them days I don't do anything. But I try not to have them days. I at least try to accomplish something. Sorry if I'm squinting. The sun is right there. Should have got my sunglasses. Uh, got the seeds planted yesterday. I was planning to go to the feed store this morning and get some more uh, tomato seeds and a few other things. But there's no rush on that. Uh, I'm trying to limit how many times I go to town in a week. Uh, that truck eats the gas. So I try to be mindful. Uh, wait till I have several things that I need to do before I take a trip. And uh, just don't feel like going today. You know, sometimes you have one of them days. I'm probably just going to sit around and uh, do nothing. But I doubt it. I think what I'm going to do is get in the dog apartment, pull up all that cardboard that they have on their floor and vacuum got a shop vac they under their beds is full of fur and nasties so i'm going to vacuum that floor really good there's really no way to mop it or anything uh it isn't that bad but uh then i'm going to take one of these area rugs i got where i'm going to be building my closet and i'm going to put that in there for them so that'll be a lot easier on their paws than walking on that because that foundation if you'll go back to the build where i built that and this that is a uh poorly done uh do-it-yourself slab that was here they used to have a slot a hot tub on top of it it's got rocks sticking up it's unlevel it's terrible and there ain't much you can do other than getting maybe some self-leveling cement you know i'm not going to go through all that it's just a long laundry room and a dog a place for the dogs so I know it doesn't bother me, so I'm not going to worry about spending the money, taking the time to do that. But I think putting that rug on there is going to make a big difference. I just got to, you know, make sure I vacuum it frequently. Because there's no buggers pull in some nasty things. Mud and who knows what else. But I think they'll, they'll like that. Especially Lily, because Waldo likes to steal her blanket, put it on his bed. They each got their own blanket. But he likes to steal it, and I'll look in there on the camera, and there's Lily having to lay on the floor. Because I guess she don't think she can lay on the bed without a blanket. She, Waldo aggravates her all the time, but she loves him. They're a good pair, and they're, they've been together since Lily was a baby. When Lily was about nine weeks old, she stayed in, when I was staying in the fifth wheel, uh, I probably got her about eight or nine weeks old. And uh, she was younger than that, I think. But she was, oh, the wild one of the bunch. There were 14 in a litter. They found them dumped in the woods. She was the only one of the whole litter that was that color. The others were all solid black. And she was the feistiest one. Um, if I could think, I'll insert some pictures right here. Yep, that's what she looked like when she was a baby. And so I brought her home, and I was working full-time. So during the day, she would stay in a crate, and she did not like that at all. So I slowly, after about a week, slowly started bringing her. There was five other full-grown dogs in the yard, so I'd bring her out. And they loved her and played with her, and they weren't too rough. So after about a week of that, I just left her out all day with them and... She took to Waldo and Lucy, and Lucy was Waldo's sister, so she really took to her, and uh, she's got a lot of, Lucy taught her a lot of things, because she does a lot of the same things Lucy does. If you, when they had dog houses, I would stuff all their dog houses with fresh straw. Lucy would go from dog house to dog house, twirling around, making a nest for everybody, so Lily does that, even though now they don't need straw, but I'll put it out in the yards in the corners where the fence is, because they like to come out. You know, when the sun's out like this, they like to come out and lay in the straw and Lucy will go or Lily will go around and 
make a nest and she just dogs do learn from each other but uh Waldo, he is the oldest of all the dogs I've had and I've ever had. And I got him day one. Day one. I woke, I got to Arkansas at 2 p.m. on a Saturday. And I woke up. It's, uh, I went to bed. I stayed up for a while. I drove all the way from Florida. And uh, when I woke up, Lucy and Waldo were in the front yard. I was staying at a friend's house for a while. And they were playing, so they didn't want to leave. I said, well, I'm going to name, they look like a Waldo and a Lucy. And that's what I named them, and I've had Waldo ever since. So, yeah, that's going on. That was in 2012, so, yeah, he's he was 11, 10, 11 months old when I got him. They weren't, they were still pups, but they weren't, you know, they were, get, just getting ready to turn into an adult. But they're, you could tell they were pups because their heads were giant. And they didn't match their bodies, and finally they had to grow into their heads. <laughs> but man, he's, I have hardly, the only issue I've ever had with him, he, he broke, he tore his, uh, it's, what is it, CCL? Uh, it's a ligament in the, in the hind legs that dogs are notorious for hurting. And once they hurt it, there's not a lot anybody can do for it. There is a surgery, but it's not guaranteed. It's very expensive. So I started giving him CDB oil, and within a week, he was walking on it. And he hasn't had any troubles with it since. So I'm, I'm a firm believer in that stuff. CCL. I think that's what we have. It's called CC something else in, in them. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's a ligament. But it's their main ligament in their rear leg. And he hurt it. And then I had to take him to the vet not long ago. Well, I can't remember what, what, what it was now. Don't know. That's how bad my memory is, man. Maybe I should run for president. Ha! Ah! What did he go to the vet for? I don't know. He was he hurt something or did whatever. I don't know why he went to the vet, but he went. And uh, he's only been twice, and they have to muzzle him because he growls. I don't think he would bite him, but I don't know. You know, he's just always just been around me. But he's never been aggressive towards anybody that goes to pet him or whatever. Uh, and that's going to bug me now. I don't remember what he went. It's on the bulletin board down in the office. If we were doing the coffee in there, I could pull that off and tell you. I don't think it was anything major. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oh, well. Let's move on. Let me get a sip of coffee. Oh, all right, I'm looking at a board, a two by four with a screw sticking straight up. I better get that after this. Don't wanna, I've, I've stepped on screws before. I don't wanna tell you how bad that hurts. And what hurts worse is getting them back out because you can't just pull them out. I had to get the drill. That's back when I was building that deck behind the building. And that has still has a solid foundation. I don't think you can see it from here. So I think I'm gonna put some rails on it and you know why not use it i checked out the uh, forms around the bottom and they're still solid that's good treated wood and the deck's solid so i might as well put some rails up that wouldn't i've got the lumber right in the shed there uh the sawmill two by fours that i got man the sun's bright guys sorry if i'm squinting the sun's behind me but yet it's really bright probably because the tan color of my house is reflecting it Whew. It is bright. So anyway, just want to get on here and throw up a coffee. We'll try to change this up every morning. I'm going to start walking again on Monday. I've got all my trails yesterday. I went in the day before. I went and I weed eated and got everything knocked down on the trails. So I'm going to start that again Monday. I'm not going to film it like I did before, but maybe on a we can film uh, the morning coffee during my walk. But I'm not going to put on all the crazy music and. But I'm just going to start out slow. Uh, it's been a year probably since I've walked. So we're going to start out slow. Uh, I do know that after about a month of that last year, I was feeling really good. A lot better. Things were easier. I was dropping weight. Um, man, that's just so hard to do these days. You know, you try to cut carbs and all that. And, and everything you buy, you know, so I'm going to start eating just mostly vegetables and i don't know i'm just gonna start to walk and that's all i'm gonna say it can't hurt me but i you know there at the end i was 
I ran two laps around this area here. But the problem with that is I could have kept going. Uh, I wasn't out of breath or anything. I could have kept <coughs> I could have kept going, but my hips and my knees started hurting so bad I couldn't hardly run. So running's out. Even if I'm able to do it, my knees aren't going to allow me to do it. And there's no fixing that. There's no fixing the hips. And I saw <laughs> I I paid for that for like three days afterwards. But I just wanted to see if I could do it because when I started walking, man, I was pushing close to. I was like 294 pounds. I've never been that big. I mean, right now I'm 274, but I haven't, I haven't put that back on. I try to eat once a day. I might eat some few crackers or something in between, or I try to keep a can of pineapple. I love pineapples within the hundred percent juice. Try to keep a can of that in the fridge. It has a little bit of natural sugars in it, but you know, nobody, was overweight in the 70s and early 80s like they are today. The older people you would see, the only people you would really see that was overweight were were people that were the age I am now. You know, you get over 50 or when you retire, you know. That's when I started putting weight on when I left the ranch. Because uh, I was generally staying around 240, 245. And I'm 6'1", so I can carry 240 pounds like that. And it ain't going to look like I'm huge, but, you know, you just, I just don't exercise like I used to. I work a lot. I do a lot of things around, but I'm not able to keep that pace up very long. So I think the morning walks, you know, every, every morning, Hey, if, very least just do a full lap, a full lap around. Let's see. What did I figure? Four, three laps around the property is a mile. So even if I just did one every morning, you know, which I'd probably want to do more than that. Uh, but summer, it gets too hot. I'd have to get up, you know, I could probably still do it, get up early in the morning. And I do have the e-bikes, so those will pedal. You know, I can pedal the e-bikes and put it on a power assist one where I'm doing most of the work. So, but until whatever construction they're working on around here with these dump trucks screaming up and down, I'm not going to ride. I'm not going to ride them on this road. I feel kind of like taking it for a ride today because it's Saturday. They're not running. I ain't, I'm not hearing a ton of traffic. And uh, I got a new one coming. Yeah, I got a new one coming here pretty soon. They're, they said it wasn't in stock, but it'd be about a week. It's the same brand as I got in the, the, the Raton. And they want me to get another channel to ride that one while I ride the new one. I've already picked out somebody, so you'll be able to see that. We'll put the drone up and make it a big old fanfare thing. So, all right, well, the day after tomorrow, I get the new carport. I think I'm going to have to, I have a security camera right there on that pole. Is it that one? Yeah, right there. So I'm probably going to have to move that. I'm going to wait till they put it up and see. But uh, that is... A very important camera to have it keeps a whole you know i can see the whole side of my property my shed and i believe that one gets yeah that one also i can see that building no no i have another camera right there that watches that building and then the back of the property then i got them on one on the side one that faces that way one that faces that way it's all covered and one of them cam cameras burn out so i'm gonna probably order another one uh, it doesn't have to be the same brand as long as it's the same type. But I couldn't live without that security system now, man. They are nice to have. The only downside is they are wired, but they're pretty reliable. So, all right, guys, I think that's it. We'll get in there, and I'm going to get dressed and because it's not as cool as they said it was going to be. It's got to be in the 50s. So I'm going to get to work. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Happy trails. There's, there's Miss Lily in the corner right there. Yeah, well, the roof's holding up. Got some howling going on. Just give y'all a look around.